Hi, I'm Bill Donahue, President of the Catholic League. We need you to sign our petition in defense of Mother Teresa. Last January, uh, I learned by reading the newspaper that the United States Postal Service was going to honor Mother Teresa on the 100th anniversary of her birthday on August the 26th. I was delighted with the commemorative stamp idea. I also thought it would be important that we at the Catholic League do something on our own. So back on February the 2nd, I petitioned the Empire State Building Partners Association, the Lightning Partners, asking them if they wouldn't shine the colors of her founding order, the Missionaries of Charity, uh, blue and white on that evening of August the 26th. Those of you who are not from New York may not know, but the Empire State Building always has, not always, but most of the time has at night the colors representing cer certain uh, event or person. For example, they have it red and green at Christmas time, they have different colors for Hanukkah, Jewish holidays uh, and the like. Uh, the Yankees win the World Series, they'll have blue and white. It's green for St. Patrick's Day, orange for Halloween and so forth. So I made a formal application back in February asking the Empire State Lightning Partners if we could have the opportunity to have blue and white shining brightly into the sky on August the 26th, the 100th anniversary of her birth. I thought it was a slam dunk. Then I found out, to my surprise just recently, that we were denied, without explanation I might add. Now Mother Teresa has won 124 different awards, including the Nobel Peace Prize, the Presidential and Congressional Medal of Freedom. She's revered all over the world, especially in India, where she did her yeoman work. She has founded hundreds of hospitals, orphanages, hospices, youth centers, homeless shelters. She opened the first AIDS patient shelter in Greenwich Village here in New York City. She's loved by Americans to such an extent that she was voted three times the Woman of the Year in the mid-1990s. But Mother Teresa is not good enough to be honored by the Empire State Building. Guess who is? Last September, that's right, the Empire State Building honored the Communist Chinese Revolution on its 60th anniversary. I don't know if you know this, people, but check it out. 77 million Chinese people died under the hands of the communists when Mao Zedong took over in 1949. But yet, the communist Chinese got their lights shining brightly into the sky. But Mother Teresa, they're denying? There's an ode to this, and we know what it is. It's rank anti-Catholicism. Go to our website. Sign the petition. Get your family and friends to sign the petition. And do it as fast as you can. Thank you very much.